Very happy day. Very happy day. <laughs> Here, get a one. Yes. No. This is on video. Here comes the music. See my mom? Here's the bride. Here's the bride. Do we look good together? <laughs> Do you like her dress? Yeah. It's beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? You look great today. Yeah, you look good. You look all bushy tailed. <laughs> <laughs> and you remember Liz? Mom, you remember Liz, right? There's Liz. Liz is going to be our official today. Congratulations on Annie's wedding. You must be so happy and proud. She looks so beautiful, doesn't she? <laughs> <laughs> and she's married such a nice guy. <laughs> My mom likes me, we already know. <laughs> <laughs> he has a seal of approval, yes. <laughs> Should we do our little, here we go, yeah. 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 Aren't they gorgeous? My bouquet? My dress? Do you like it? <laughs> See? That nice fabric? <laughs> Thank you everyone for gathering <laughs> with us for Annie and Mark's wedding. And I'm so glad and grateful that so many generations of the family could be together to celebrate this mom mom here who's probably the happiest most joyful person in the room <laughs> her daughter denise and then annie her granddaughter is marrying mark a wonderful man we have lots of family and friends around us and I just want to hold this up, my mom. Do you know what this is? Don't let her it's, touch. it's very sharp on the bottom, but it's it's a fishing lure. And have you ever been fishing? Fishing is something that Mark does. It's a passion of his. And um, I found this lure in my hair. <laughs> magically, <laughs> right before the ceremony, so I felt like it really had a symbol of I'm not standing too close to Mark. <laughs> and it's beautiful and and shiny, but it has sharp edges, so you have to be a little bit a little bit careful. But I started thinking about the word lure, which means to attract or to entice or to bring together. And then I thought about a poem. It's about a little bit about fishing, a little bit about beautiful women. And it's one of the few poems I actually have in my head, so I'm going to recite it. It's by Yeats, who was an Irish poet. Kind of a, he overlapped with you. He was a contemporary of yours, Mom Mom. And it goes like this. It's called The Song of the Wandering Angus. I went out to the hazelwood because a fire was in my head and cut and peeled a hazel wand. When white moths were on the wing and moth-like stars were flickering out, I dropped the berry in a stream and caught a little silver trout. And then I laid it on the floor and went to blow the fire aflame. And something rustled on the floor and someone called me by my name. It had become a glimmering girl with apple blossom in her hair who called me by my name and ran and faded through the brightening air. Now I am old with wandering over hollow land and hilly land, but I will find out where she has gone.
her hand and kiss her lips and walk among long dappled grass and pluck between time and time a dove, the silver apples of the moon, the golden apples of the sun. <laughs> <laughs> So he thought you love trout fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Many surprises. <laughs> Luckily, you don't have to search for her because she's already gone. And so now, um, Mark, you pull some flowers with your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you take this beautiful, glimmering girl uh -huh. with apple blossom in her hair? Um, I do. And Annie, what about this fisherman? <laughs> 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 to be your lawfully wedded husband. I do. Hooray. Kiss. <laughs> you may kiss the bride. <laughs> 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 Isn't that beautiful? Yay! <laughs> Now we can party, Mama. We have to take some photos. We have to have you stand.